Hey, what's going on, guys? Back from my lesson. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for still watching this lesson. If you like it, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you are subscribed, thank you so much for coming back for this lesson. Today's lesson is going to be this acoustic version of You by Dan and Shay. Uh, this will be a finger style song. So let's uh, zoom in and I'll show you what's going on. to be in standard tuning. The chords need for this one are C, F. We're doing my F this way, index finger, first fret of the B. Middle finger, second fret of the G, ring finger, third fret of the A, pinky, third fret of the D. So I have an F, <clears throat> a G. The um, only thing you really need to do on this G is uh, just put your middle finger on this low E. So when we're doing the pick, we'll be picking the G. So that's the only thing you need to do uh, for that chord. The A minor. Then keep that shape, move everything upstream. We'll have an E. And then we're going to have a D. I believe that is all the chords you need to know for this one. Um, there is going to be a little bit of a slap going on here. And what I'm doing there is just um, with just kind of the bony part of your thumb here, just kind of uh, slapping on the strings, it's usually the low E and A string, just slapping some around in there to get that little tick sound. All right, <clears throat> the intro, it'll be played. So what I'm doing there, <clears throat> you want to pick the G string open, hammer on to the G string of the second fret, and then you're going to pick the B on that first. So that's going to be the first little part there. Okay, then you're going to do this little, what I'm doing there, pick the B string on third, hammer on to the B string of the fifth, and then you're going to pick the high E of the third. Be a little first little part, and then you just get a little slap. <clears throat> okay, and you can do a little slap down here also for that little part. Okay, and then you're just gonna repeat that little first part. G string open, hammer onto the G string of third on the, of the second fret, and then pick that uh, B string of the first. So all that slow. And you give another little slap. And then you're gonna do this G. And what I'm doing there, and you'll be doing this pretty much throughout the entire song, is with your uh, these two fingers. Uh, my pointer finger is going to be picking the G string, and then my middle finger is gonna be picking the B string. And throughout the whole song, you promise to be playing those those two strings, no matter what chord you're using. So C, F, G, and the A minor. Okay. So the intro again. So for the like, say for the G, you can use your. Um, I'm using my uh, ring finger here, but you can use your middle finger, whichever is more comfortable. So for that G, so it's two picks on all three of those strings, the low E, the G, and the B. Then you can go here to your uh, C chord, and I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna put my finger on the A string of the third, and then, then pick those three strings, and then hammer on to the first fret of the B, and the, um, where are we at here? And the second fret of that D string. Okay. Well, I can play it again. Then all that's gonna repeat. The second time through on that on that G chord, I got my index finger on the B of the first. And then again, you're gonna pick them same three strings. Then just make your C chord. So the whole intro is slow. Go 
goes into the verse. So all that again one more time. for you now let's go into the verse all right coming out of the uh, intro you go into the verse and the verse and the chorus is going to be played the exactly same same chord progression um the only part that's going to be different throughout the song is the bridge part but i'll show you that here shortly but anyway the uh verse we play this way start out c f g like c Like I said, of course, we'll be played that same way. But let me kind of break down what's going on here. So when I C, I'm just playing the, the A string on that third fret. And then, like I say, with these, with my pointer and my middle finger, playing that G string and that B string. So it's... Then you go to the F chord. And uh, you may notice on some of these chords, like I'm making the complete C shape, um, but I'm not playing that that D string on that second fret. But I still just put my finger there just to, for simplicity, I guess, of making each actual chord shape instead of just saying, don't put your finger there because that really might make it confusing. So let's have one the C. Okay. Give that a little slap. Then you can go to the F chord and you can play all three of those uh, strings at the at the same time. So after that, you play them all three at the same time, you'll just play the B and G string and then a little slap. Okay. Then you're going to play that um, A string on the third fret. Then you can go into your G chord. And then you can play that low E on third. And then you can play those the G and the B string. And then you go back to the C chord and you'll play all three. So all that slow. Slap. And slap again. I hope this ain't confusing too much. Then all that slow again. Then you, after you, you'll play all three on C, play that B and the G string, and then slap, and then all that just repeats. that C chord. So a whole little part slow. you're going to the chorus the chorus is going to be played the exact same way as the verse was same chord same chord progression um and then when you come out of that chorus that second time through you're going to the bridge um the bridge will be played this way so i'm going to play like the end of the chorus going into that bridge show you how that goes Be 
C and A of, so. So I want that C, pick the uh, A string, pick the B and the G, and then when you get to the F, you'll pick out three. So A minor. Then it's gonna go into the chorus again. And that is it, guys. Um, I did do a cover of this. I'll put a link in the description of that cover so you can follow along and actually see, actually see me doing the chord change. And that may make it a little bit easier for you to learn the song. Uh, if you got any questions, just leave me a comment. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of this lesson. And as always, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.